Okay. Fight. Oh, I still need to update uh, the overlay, so uh, you take us away. Uh, I'm on fits. Okay. So there is not an option. So, range versus Athena. It's gonna get the mega ray on the uh, the heavy. And uh, we'll have to see how Ray is going to play against the Ranger Orb because that's probably the biggest thing to wor uh, worry for in this matchup. Just not kind of getting a Ray Orb comboed, but sometimes it's a bit you know, harder to avoid when they're being so uh, forward with it. And I'm going to just trade items again. Fitz does have a rail now. And I would like to see a bit of pressure from Ray, even though Fitz has the position at the moment, you know, Ray does have the mobility advantage and kind of just suss him out, but they're both players are gonna kind of wait each other out. Okay, Ray does make a move. And this is where it gets good for Ray because now he doesn't have to pick up the Mega straight away. And that's what he does. He leaves it up. Gonna see if he does pressure onto the heavy. Now he'll delay it. So now this delay means that Ray can actually kind of make a play for both items, especially when he has that, uh, all those hooks. Fitz does have position. And... First minute and a half, I don't think we've seen any exchange. Both players have done... Okay, Fitz has done 15 damage this game. Okay, no sorry, make that 28 now. But first fight in the game, and Ray gonna push in. Almost works in a frag. Matt Fitz blows his orb there, doesn't quite uh, get the kill with it. Yeah, so we did see that he tried to do uh, to work with that delay, but uh, still Fitz was in position to, to get it mid fight. Yeah. Stop watch. And yeah, they're playing this actually uh, great. I I understand that Fitz is just uh, really defensive uh, because Athena can get away with so much BS. Mm -hmm. That's one of the... Um, I think the reason why they're being so slow is because they know that once the first person gets the kill, you know, when the Athena has all that mobility after she gets the kill, she's just... It's so hard to uh, kind of come back from that because you have to play slow. Like, it's really hard to push back in because Athena is just everywhere. Like, she's always where she wants to be first. But gonna keep applying pressure with LG. Oh, Ooh, God, it's a direct. No. Nice. Nice. Combo kill. And a simple mistake like that all of a sudden fits straight with the first frag. And should get this Mega now, too. LG is a little bit off, but then uh, Ray just uh, turns his back is good to go. and tries to escape, but uh, he was still in the vicinity to get zapped away by the LG of uh, Fitz. And he gets two frags quite quickly after each other. Oh, he's raidable. No, not after uh, the health pickup. And bit of a fight here. Ray gonna get him with the shotgun. Uh, Fitz is a nice rail, but not gonna be enough to stop Ray there. And uh, he's gonna have good stack for the for the heavy. I would like to see Fitz get in position because this heavy machine gun is gonna be really good against the Athena. Yeah, I think he should be wary of the orb shotgun combo. Oh, but. Uh... It doesn't Ooh. go. <laughs> he doesn't choose yeah. to use uh, the orb shot. Oh, yeah, he's just so low. He does steal the mega health. What you got? And just like that, two to two, happened without a minute. About a minute. Oh, nice rail by uh, Bryce Rocket by Ray there. Gonna send Fitz away, and actually Fitz gonna walk away with the kill. Yeah, 
but the refract potential is huge. Just look how quick she got back into that fight from uh, from that Five position. Warning. Tank. Mm, I think this might be a little bit too aggressive by Fitz. I don't like this because, again, vertical rail by Ray. Ah, uh, and again. Yeah, Fitz still available. There's only one. Nice, uh. Nice good understanding of what was going on, on there with the game, or just how much stack, th stack there was. Ray realizing T armor is up, going for it, re engages, and Fitz just too low to be able to contest, so. Well played by Ray there. And I don't like this by Fitz. He's way too early. Definitely needs to get out of there. And definitely decides to. Okay, Ray with both items. That's why you need to be sometimes so careful with what weapon you decide to enter with. Ray decided to enter with rockets, didn't manage to connect anything. Fitz just pushes him away with LG. I mean, Ray had both items. Definitely could have maybe done something with uh, with LG there or, or something along those lines. Oh, this is not a position on this heavy. Orb gets used. Get this mega health. But, uh, some special damage from uh, Ray. <coughs> we wasn't aware where uh, Fitz was at. Uh, or Ray was at the uh, moment. And, yeah. And Ray, oh, hitting two rails of spawn. Surely there's another kill for Ray now. Picks up the Mega, but Fitz... Ray actually disengaging. I don't know how I feel about that. I think... Does Ray have an LG? Well, he definitely does now. He gets it in the end. I th it, it was a fake. <laughs> it's, always, it's, always, it's always a fake. Yeah, we're back to uh, square one, just as we started. No one wants to give uh, away the next frag. Yeah, and I would like to see... I don't like... Mm. It's always an interesting choice to pick up the heavy there, especially when it only gives 25. Impressive. Maybe to potentially go for a little bit more damage, especially because... Even just like leaving it up um, and just going for that mega could always be an opportunity. But again, a close range battle, Ray actually hitting that clutch rail. Now he just needs to defend this heavy. If he defends this heavy, he's going to be in a great position going further. Still no rail by Fitz now. Does manage to steal away the Mega and... I don't know about this, I mean... I don't know if Ray really needs to come to the LG room, but he has decided to. Actually, he's given Fitz a rail and he could have just stayed at Heavy. By kind of running around the map. One minute warning. The nice rocket. Time. Ray picks up the mega. So he might be thinking to start to run already. Yeah, it does have 45 seconds. I think this is risky, right? Like the orb mm. rocket. And especially the, the heavy went into uh, its court, so he has a lot mm. of stack to work with. And just like that, first rail. Managing to get to that uh, T armor, but yeah, this is kind of chicken and the egg at the moment. Who's going to be able to catch who? Ooh, oh, she managed to hit it direct nice. and the rail. 
Nah, that's that's gotta be JJ, surely. Yeah. Yeah, and there is. So, well played by Ray there, just picking his moments when he uh, when he needed to. And uh, fits arguably with the better items. He had more megas. Um, but look at the rails. I mean, Ray hit double the amount of rails that um, that Fitz did. And uh, yeah. Yeah, when you're playing a light, then uh, your presence on the map uh, will be uh, negated, right? Mm. Let's see. Uh, we do uh, need to invite uh, no turn. Yep. Yes, please. I might, uh, will I step out for this one? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. And I'll be back just a little bit. Okay. But... Who is part of it? It's in... In fray. Or... E... 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 V... M... Ray. Yeah. Yep. Something. I said. Yeah, we move on to Insomnia. EVN Ray playing Zorlak. Uh, TXM Fitz playing Eisen. <laughs> Is it just on my end or does that Zorlak skin really scream out of the... <laughs> It's loud, somehow. <laughs> oh, it doesn't make a sound on my end. It's so bright that it's oh, loud. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I actually have uh, all my screens uh, in uh, yeah, dark room or reader mode. Ah. Uh. actually have been like that since since covid i've worked a lot of yeah a lot at home and all those gamer uh, monitors are way too bright to uh, to look at uh, for a whole day yeah i worked a little bit from home uh, and had had to do the same thing I uh, will start the prediction for Insomnia. Uh, is there a ping, ping advantage? Do you know? Um, I didn't check the the last uh, map, so mm. let's see. Mm, what were... Oh, Logic Server, there we go. Because... Um, to a degree, Eisen is uh, slightly buffed if uh, he is on the lower ping due to uh, um, it slightly changes how quickly the turret reacts it seems ah uh, yeah they seem pretty equal so shouldn't be a factor Ground begins in three, who do we start on one uh, yeah, let's start on the uh, fits. Yep. Oh, 
And what do you think of the matchup? Generally speaking, I would favor the sword lag out of this. Uh, simply because of the mobility and stack. Uh, the turret can be quite good on this though, uh, because you can... There's so many narrow doorways that you can effectively block your opponent from uh, pushing. Yeah, and I do like, like, Sorlak is of course a big champion, but there are, are yeah, she said so many corners to just uh, step away from the fight. And yeah, also this jump is uh, pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> and you can just see the mobility right there. <laughs> Watch. Then we'll trade items again. <laughs> Tobias gets removed. And they're back waiting on their own item. Yeah, you can really tell that they're... They're, they both really want to win. It's uh, by far the slowest we've seen uh, the game being played today. Impressive. <laughs> Ooh, great. Oh, it's a trade 90 for 100 damage. Oh, but he gets... Ray... Yeah, pushed onto the ledge and uh, some nice damage. The Mega Health did get uh, picked up by Ray, but he does not get much out of it. Yeah, now he can't contest. Oh, yeah. oh, nice rail. <laughs> Nearly got the direct there. Oh, well, Fitz Rainable needs to vacate the area. Die Waffe ist bereit. He heard Fitz moving in from uh, a mile away. Spitz get used, but it does not connect, and the heavy is uh, yeah, ten seconds away. Ooh, so much damage with the HMG. Yeah, that was really nice. Fitz is uh, doing uh, a perfect job, basically, of uh, maintaining uh, Ray stack. Like, that it worked out. Yeah. yeah, it worked out in the end. But this is something we've seen with uh, the players on this map. They tend to drop from that position instead of staying because you can control all escape routes from uh, the mid ground there. Good weapon use. That is expensive. Just taking the jump, but uh, not being aware that the ray is there. Yeah. And I feel like you should. Five minute warning. You should almost assume that he is. Impressive. Mm, 
Nice. Yeah, Fitz did move uh, in a bit of a predictable way. Oh, but now uh, he's actually doing the same as uh, Fitz the last time around. But uh, Ray is walking away a sec there. Yeah, now Ray should uh, focus on denying the raid. Nice, yeah, Fitz actually overstaying his welcome a bit, but uh, on the other hand, Ray just listening out for all the zombie cues and just holding the angle. There's now one frag uh, to work with, one frag in the lead. Oh, I'm not sure why I did that. Uh, seems like a, a very bad misread of the audio cues. Yeah, maybe his own shot blocked the sound. Yeah, maybe. Oh. It feels like uh, Ray is getting directed quite a lot this game. <laughs> Yeah, he's uh, playing a thick lizard. Oh uh, no, he's plus farting for the other bit. It's too much. Still sticks around for this fight. Spiraling a bit out of control for Reyna right now. Yeah, he's contesting way too much. He, he needs to focus on just getting his basic items. Like, build your stack, get rail, and punish items. Yeah, and Fitz is just uh, working his route from uh, one major item to the next. Yeah, he's basically just maintaining his rotation and uh, Ray is fitting into it. Yeah, for a moment Fitz was readable. Ooh, but... There Good steal, true. but uh, with the Sorlag stack, it shouldn't matter too much. Yeah, I need just sandwich. Oh, what? The <laughs> guy is uh, defending the mega alpha position. I think Ray is uh, tilting a little bit. <laughs> yeah, Fitz, Rockets, uh, G, and his rail is on point. <laughs> They're both really struggling staying on the mega platform. <laughs> I feel like Ray just didn't focus enough on just getting the weapons and punishing his opponents. Instead he just wanted to fight for every item and it cost him too much.
Yeah, this uh, does mean we move on to the tiebreaker. So we are getting our money's worth. Which, uh, yeah, we paid exactly uh, zero euros for getting into this tournament. It's a nice round number. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this will be Runes of Sarnath, where uh, Fitz is playing Visor and Ray is playing Anarchy. Would you like me to jump back in, fellas? Uh, yes, please. Excellent. Yeah, it's uh, my turn to uh, sit on the bench. Yep, yep. So, how do you feel about the picks? Um, I think maybe statistically, perhaps actually, like the anarchy should just dominate the visor. But I think you can play it very good. Um, how can I say? It's just a case of like if the if the anarchy just plays around his ability and always positions well it should be very hard for the visor to kind of do anything especially because like the inject is kind of just giving him an extra mega and just making it a nightmare to kind of lock him down but um we'll see it's not it's not impossible it's more of the case the anarchy has to play pretty spot on for that to happen so yeah uh, we'll see i feel um uh... Looking at last game where Fitz was playing more controlled or composed, mm. I'm a little bit. Yeah, I think I favor the visor, but it's it's like you said, the anarchy can just be a nightmare to deal with, Prepare especially on this map. Mm -hmm. Round begins in three, two, one, and we're. Fight. Let's have a look for a second. Okay, starting off on Fitz's perspective. So he gets the heavy, gets the rail. And not going to be the best start for Ray getting that mega spawn because obviously he can't use that uh, ability. But I would like to see, yep, nice by Fitz. Instantly uses ability, hits that first rail. I wouldn't mind uh, Fitz prioritizing the, the Mega here, but he shouldn't have enough time to be able to get in there and contest. So, Fitz kind of just chilling on the low ground right now. He has, <clears throat> the thing is though, he has stacked to burn. I would like to see him kind of like at least, even if he's not going to, even if he doesn't connect, you just want to at least show yourself uh, so you can use the stack, which now he has, and we'll be able to get the full value of that heavy. Yeah. I like this position from Fitz, just kind of sitting in top mid. But again, we're seeing a little bit of like what map one was like. Just both players kind of waiting to see who's going to get that first frag. Yeah. Fitz does get the mega. But here we go. Two rails by right now. And this should mean hopefully a bit more pressure. Oof, nearly. Okay. Ray misses up that rocket jump and Fitz gonna get it get himself a mega. But so far this is like the ruins of Sarnath problem where 
there's just not enough there's not enough way for oh. being able to actually uh, catch someone but that being said okay Ray just pushes in with uh, his air control and gets absolutely LG to death there Stop watch. Again. We had fade Fitz didn't even shoot there for some reason, not sure why, but Okay, nice push by Ray. I'm not too okay. sure about waiting for the damage. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> that waiting for <laughs> Well, something as simple as... That's why sometimes you have to be so careful in a game like uh, Quake Champions in particular. Just, you know, one full blank, uh, point blank shotgun like that, and instantly Ray is already in a terrible spot, so... Stop watch. It's hitting a rail. Ray is railable now. I like that he's going for the control, though. This is kind of a good way to make sure he's going to secure full control of the map and get the heavy. I would like to see him kind of push before the heavy, but just gonna go straight for it. Okay, and a rocket jump to Mega would be perfect, but gonna decide not to. Yeah, I feel like it's almost showing too much respect at this point. Mm -hmm. Oh, the rail's narrowly missing. You know, if you have the stack to use, it's you have to be... Well, you don't have to be, but it's good to be aggressive with it because it's better to take a risk than to not. Otherwise, you're kind of like, you know, equalizing. You're actually making the game more equal, like, easier for your opponent. Even though you might, you know, make the mistake, it's actually better to attack than it's not to. But on the respawn again, should be another kill for Ray. And uh, Ray is low. Not gonna opt to contest the heavy though. So far, this game is very awkward to commentate because there's just not too much, not too much happening to be honest. Yeah, it's why I'm being very quiet, because yeah, yeah. I legitimately don't know what to comment, really. Yeah, the only thing to comment is why he's gone Mega. And now he's at Heavy, now he's back at Mega. It feels like it. Yeah. Like a rocket sort of... jump. Holy fuck, a rocket jump. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it feels like basically trading items and then the occasional full plus forward into a fight. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, hits that rail. If Fitz gets this heavy cleanly and just pushes, I mean, I understand this goes up. Guys need to be a little bit careful. That that's a really nice exit rail though. And it's rails like that from uh, from Ray, but actually. Walks into a rocket, Fitz finishes with a rail too. Not gonna quite hit the spawn rail. Okay, trades. Ray hits a second. Fitz is railable now too. Oh, that's an angle if he could have hit it. Okay, and I think Fitz did see he injected there too, so he should know that if Ray is going to contest, he's going to have a decent amount of stack pushing into the heavy, but not going to push.
I feel like both of them often give up high ground for seemingly no reason. Um. I'll kind of I'll keep more of a close eye on it, but at the moment it's just I think because it's very hard to push into the anarchy, honestly, or you know, vice versa. Like it's hard to push in the anarchy because of the hitbox and the movement. But then the anarchy doesn't want to push because every time he pushes, he can hear the visor use the ability, and he's kind of setting up exactly. So ends up just in being like a very awkward, uh, awkward fighting. Yeah. But there's been moments where there's 15 seconds to the next item. And they don't know where the other player is, and one just drops down from connector. Mm -hmm. I'm not ah, sure oh, why. Perfect time to use side here. Not gonna connect with the rail, but that actually doesn't matter too much. He just needs to make sure he gets into position for the heavy. Ray does have an opportunity to use the inject and push, he does. Goes straight in with Rocket, and now this, is, now this is Ray's opportunity, because this is the first time Ray's been able to get the heavy relatively cleanly. Now Fitz shouldn't have enough stack to be able to defend the Mega, so he should just run into here. Which it looks like he will. And now, this is Ray's opportunity. He needs to do something before the next heavy. Otherwise, this whole advantage that he has uh, is going to kind of be mitigated. But if he gives position like that to the heavy, Fitz will have an opportunity now again. He does, uh, Fitz does use his ability. But nice little trap by Ray. Okay, hopefully we're not going to see a 20-minute Ruins game in a second, but... <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Nice. Good read. Make sure he gets the heavy. Now this is Ray's opportunity because, yep, Sorry. exactly what I was going to say. Perfect rocket jump. Maybe a different route to mid, but that's okay still. Nice little trap, yeah. it surely is a frag. Yep, GG. GG. So, uh... We'll play to, uh, to Ray there. I would have liked if he just, like, LG'd him and just let the, the ring out kill him, but decides to go for the confident LG finish. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that uh, was it, right? You won the finals, or? Well, that was the uh, the winner bracket final. Oh. So now we, but that's still okay because actually we've been having for a best of one lower bracket. And let me just check because I think on the other stream.